Hey there, health warriors. Today we're diving deep into the hidden history of nutrition and revealing the truths that big corporations have worked so hard to keep buried. You've probably heard it all before. The carnivore diet lacks research, it's unhealthy, and it's impossible to maintain long term. But what if I told you that there's more to the story than meets the eye? You're about to uncover a piece of history that will make you rethink everything you've been told about health, nutrition, and the human diet. We'll explore the roots of the carnivore diet, debunk long-held myths, and shed light on the results of a nearly forgotten clinical trial from 1929. A trial that could have completely transformed modern nutrition science, but it didn't because the truth was suppressed. Imagine it's the early 1900. The medical community and nutritionists have already established that a balanced diet must include a variety of foods, fruits, vegetables, grains, and proteins. Meanwhile, out in the cold, remote regions of the Arctic, there's a man named Vilyalmur Stefansson, an explorer living among the Inuit people. For over a decade he adopted the traditional Inuit diet, which consisted entirely of meat and animal fat. Yet, despite the lack of fruits, vegetables, or grains, the Inuit were in exceptional health. No scurvy, no heart disease, no diabetes. Stephenson himself thrived. When he returned to the United States, his observations and health flew in the face of mainstream science. But instead of being celebrated, he was met with ridicule. The medical community refused to believe his claims, that humans could not only survive but thrive on an all-meat diet. To silence his critics, Stephenson volunteered for a year-long clinical trial at Bellevue Hospital in New York in 1929. Alongside fellow Arctic explorer Karsten Andersen, Stephenson set out to prove, under the strictest conditions, that an all-meat diet was not only sustainable but superior for human health. Imagine you're in 1929, witnessing this landmark study firsthand. For the first three months, Stephenson and Anderson were confined to the hospital, their diet meticulously controlled and monitored by a team of top medical experts. Every meal was weighed, every biological marker tracked, their meals just meat, organs, and animal fat, no plant matter whatsoever. What were the results? They didn't just survive, they thrived. Neither man developed the nutrient deficiencies predicted by doctors. No scurvy, no vitamin C deficiency, no kidney damage. In fact, their overall health improved. They remained in peak physical condition with stable blood pressure, normal cholesterol levels, and excellent mental clarity. But this posed a problem. These results contradicted the mainstream narrative and threatened the interests of the food and pharmaceutical industries. If people knew that an all-meat diet could prevent and even reverse common chronic diseases, it would undermine the profit-driven model of selling plant-based processed foods and medications. So, what happened? The study was quietly buried. Almost no one outside the scientific community heard about it, and over the next few decades, the plant-based dietary guidelines took over, promoted by the very industries that stood to benefit the most. For almost a century, the public has been misled about the dangers of an all-meat diet. Let's go through the top three myths that have been used to discredit the carnivore diet and see how the results of the 1929 trial and recent studies completely debunk them. Myth 1 An all-meat diet causes nutritional deficiencies, you've heard it a million times. You'll get scurvy without fruits and vegetables, but both Stephenson and Anderson went an entire year without a single bite of plant food and remained perfectly healthy. Why? Fresh meat, particularly organ meats, contains small but sufficient amounts of vitamin C. And it turns out that your body's need for vitamin C drastically decreases when you cut out sugar and carbohydrates. Recent research has confirmed this. When you're in a state of ketosis, your body produces fewer free radicals, reducing the need for large amounts of antioxidants. So, the fear of vitamin C deficiency is unfounded. The carnivore diet provides all the nutrients your body needs if you're eating nose to tail. Myth 2. High protein intake damages the kidneys. Another persistent myth is that a diet high in protein will harm your kidneys. Yet, after consuming nothing but animal products for a year, neither Stephenson nor Anderson showed any signs of kidney damage. In fact, modern research supports that high-protein diets are only problematic if the body lacks sufficient dietary fat. The truth is, protein and fat together create the perfect balance for health and longevity. Myth 3. Saturated fat and cholesterol cause heart disease. This is the myth that's been hardest to shake. Even today you're told to avoid saturated fats and cholesterol for the sake of your heart, 
but during the trial despite a diet rich in saturated animal fats, neither man developed any cardiovascular issues, their cholesterol levels remained stable, and there was no arterial plaque buildup. More recently, a Harvard study conducted in 2021 found similar results in modern-day carnivores, improved heart health, decreased triglycerides, and stable or improved cholesterol levels. It's not the saturated fats that are harmful, it's the high-carb processed food diets that drive inflammation and cause heart disease. Nearly a century after the Bellevue experiment, modern research is catching up. In 2021, researchers at Harvard conducted a study with over 2,000 participants who followed a strict carnivore diet. The results were astounding. Participants reported weight loss, improved metabolic health, and reduced inflammation. Conditions like type 2 diabetes, irritable bowel syndrome, and rheumatoid arthritis went into remission for many. The findings were clear. This wasn't just a fluke. The carnivore diet was reversing diseases that modern medicine struggles to treat. Just like Stephenson and Anderson, modern carnivores were achieving optimal health without a single vegetable, grain, or fruit in their diet. Why then is this evidence being ignored? Because the truth threatens to unravel decades of profit-driven propaganda. If people understood the true power of a meat-based diet, it would devastate the food and pharmaceutical industries. Imagine a world where people didn't need diabetes medications, statins, or blood pressure pills, because they simply didn't get sick. The push for plant-based diets isn't about health, it's about money. Processed foods made from cheap grains and soy are highly profitable. And the more people rely on these foods, the more they need medications to manage the diseases they cause. It's a vicious cycle, one that's been perpetuated for nearly a century. But now, with the resurgence of interest in ancestral eating and the growing body of research supporting the carnivore diet, the tide is turning. It's time to take control of your health, friend. The evidence is clear, an all-meat diet isn't a fad or a dangerous trend. It's how humans are meant to eat. By returning to our ancestral roots you can reclaim your health, reverse chronic conditions, and thrive. So what's your experience with the carnivore diet? Have you tried it yourself, or are you considering it? What benefits have you seen, or what questions do you have? Share your thoughts in the comments below, and let's start a conversation. Remember, your health is in your hands. Don't let misinformation stand in the way of your well-being. And if you found this content valuable, consider sharing it with others because everyone deserves to know the truth. If you want more insights like this, hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications. There's much more to uncover about the secrets to optimal health. If you're eager to discover how a meat-based diet can transform your health and well-being, be sure to explore my channel. You'll find a collection of videos packed with tips, insights, and guidance to help you successfully start and thrive on a carnivore diet. Stay curious, stay healthy, and I'll see you in the next video.